Apple just released iOS 16.3 beta 1 to registered developers just one day after the public release of iOS 16.2. So in this video, as always, we're going to discuss what's new and what to expect next. And in addition to this iOS release, Apple also released iPadOS 16.3 beta 1, macOS 13.2 beta 1, watchOS 9.3 beta 1, tvOS 16.3 beta 1, and HomePodOS 16.3 beta 1. Now, taking a look at the size of this update, you could see it came in over five gigabytes on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Of course, it is going to be a large update anytime you go from a final to a beta or vice versa. And if we head into our settings, general about 16.3, we could see the new build number is 20D5024E. And then if we go down a little bit further, you can see the modem firmware is 1.40.00 for the 14 series. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 16.3 beta 1. And the first thing is that we now have a physical security key support for adding another layer of security for your Apple ID account. So if you go into your settings here and go to your iCloud and then to password and security, we have a new section in here that says add security keys. And it says physical security keys provide a strong form of two factor authentication. And this is the screen that you will see once you tap on that. Now it says strongest account security, physical security keys provides strong protection against phishing and unauthorized access to your account and it does also replace verification codes so now you can replace the you know text message verification or verification from another device with a security key which is a lot more secure and people are not able to kind of spoof that and according to 95 mac this system right here the security key system does integrate with the device to device transfer process like when you get a new phone and you transfer all of your data over this is integrated into that so you won't have to do this again if you get a new iPhone so let's go ahead and tap on add security keys right here and see what this process is like and it does say you need two security keys so it says you need two compatible security keys this makes sure you can always sign into your account even if you lose one so it looks like I will need to get another YubiKey right here but I'm gonna go ahead to continue anyways and see what we can do so it says that I do need to sign out of inactive devices so I'm going to sign out of these all right so here we go it says enter and activate your first security key so i have an nfc security key right here so i'm just going to put it up near the top and see if it activates it so there we go you can see we get open my.ubico.com up there but it did add this and now it says to name your first security key so i'll just keep it as the default let's tap on next and now it's asking me to add the second security key which i do not have but that is what the process looks like and i cannot get any further than that since i only have one YubiKey. So this feature is layer two of Apple's recent security overhaul. First was the advanced data protection for iCloud. And now we have this feature right here with the physical keys. Now we're just waiting on the contact key verification for iMessage, which will let you know basically if you are texting somebody who may be impersonating one of your contacts. Also new in 16.3 is a new UI for handoff. So if you hand off your music to a HomePod, this is the new UI you will get. It's kind of like just a a new guide so it says transfer music and control home pod you can bring iphone near home pod again later to view controls or transfer music so that just kind of popped up i tapped on continue and everything acted normal after that but that is a new splash screen and speaking of splash screens we also get a new splash screen for music that advertises the new karaoke feature as you can see right here and when you tap on find your song it actually takes you to a playlist that is just for songs that work with that feature it takes you right here where it says Apple Music Sing, you kind of get a guide on it, featured playlists, and you know, you can sing by genre, decade, all of that. So it takes you to this page in Apple Music when you tap on the button. Some users are also seeing a new splash screen for Translate and also one for Siri. Now there's still no sign of custom accessibility mode, which was found in the code for 16.2. I have had a few people ask me about that, but I've looked all around here in 16.3 and I do not see anything related to the custom accessibility mode. So that may come in a later beta or we may just be waiting for a while 
for that to come as well. There's also still no sign of the high yield savings account that Apple is said to be releasing. They said they were going to release it earlier this year, but you know, we're still not seeing any sign of that. We also don't have Apple Pay Later, Apple Music Classical, which might be a separate app from the music app or no advanced data protection for iCloud beyond the United States. Like in other countries, we are still waiting on that to roll out. But as far as anything else goes here in 16.3, I'm not seeing too much else. You know, the release notes don't mention a single thing, which does not help at all. And it's kind of rare for Apple to not show anything at all in the release notes. So that makes me think that the security key support was the main reason for this to be added. That of course is going to take a lot of beta testing. So it makes sense to push this out before the new year. But as far as the performance and battery life goes everything feels about the same so far as 16.2 which is actually a good thing for a first beta i am running a quick benchmark test here in geekbench 5 to see how the performance stacks up to 16.2 RC, the final release, but you know, don't expect any major changes with a first beta. If we're going to see major changes to battery life or performance, that's going to be at a later stage or the final version. So in this test, we scored an 1876 on the single core and a 5412 on the multi-core. So you can see compared to 16.2, we did score slightly lower on the single core, but slightly higher on the multi-core. Now I don't normally include the should you update section in beta videos, but I need to make an excuse exclusion for this specific version. And the reason being is because we're probably not going to see a second beta for a while, and we're not going to see a final release for an even longer while. So if you're not okay with dealing with bugs, dealing with battery drain, then I would highly recommend installing this on a secondary device and not on your primary device. Because if you install this on your primary device and you end up having bad battery drain and, you know, issues and features not working as they should, you're probably going to have to end up downgrading, which of course is never fun and could lead to data loss. So you don't want to try that. But yeah, just had to throw this out there just because we're not expecting another beta for a while. And that leads me to the next segment, which is talking about what to expect next from Apple. So next up is going to be 16.3 beta 2. Now I would not expect that until sometime in January. So we're not going to see that next week. It's highly unlikely for Apple to release anything on the week of Christmas Eve. Most people are probably going to be on holidays and Apple that are working on software. So looks like we're going to be waiting until at the earliest the week of January 9th for a second beta of 16.3. And then as far as the next public release, so if you're not interested in hopping on the beta train just yet, if you're looking for the next public release, that is most likely going to be 16.2.1. And I would expect that sometime in January. It could even come that week of the ninth right there, although I think it will come a little bit later than that, probably near the end of January. And then as far as the final public release of iOS 16.3, I would not expect that until sometime in probably mid to late February at the earliest. We could even be waiting until March for 16.3, especially when we have such a big feature like that physical security keys that is being beta tested. So we'll have to wait and see. Of course, I will keep you guys updated as I always do here on the channel. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for the next Apple Weekly episode coming this Saturday. And of course, a lot more iOS videos next year. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Oh,